Coming up on the Mountain Bike Chronicles, we head to the Ranch Style Contest in Grand Junction, Colorado, the third stop on the FMB World Tour. And catch up with dual sport athlete Alex Prochaska in his hometown of Whistler, BC. All this and more on Mountain Bike Chronicles. Whistler, BC. Host to some of the world's best mountain biking in the summer and skiing in the winter, is also home to local Alex Prochaska. Oh, growing up in Whistler, it's pretty awesome, you know. I, I definitely take it for granted, I know that. Growing up in Whistler has allowed Prochaska to specialize in both skiing and mountain biking. He is a member of an elite group to ever compete at a high level in both sports. You just progress so much faster because it's just right, right out your door. With such easy access to nearly 200 kilometers of trails, the legendary Whistler Mountain Bike Park has been Alex's training ground. Prochaska and fellow Whistler local Brandon Semenuk have grown up in the bike park. The first time I rode in the Whistler Bike Park, it, it was uh, 98. It was the first year that the bike park opened and, and I was seven years old. So I've been riding there since, you know, day one. There's just something about a bike park, you know, you just get so much mileage in with so little effort and there's uh, such a variety as well. 2,000 kilometers south of Prochaska's backyard in Whistler is Grand Junction, Colorado, where local bike shop owner Matt Bolig has turned his backyard into a mountain biking playground. It started out as a few small free ride trails, evolved into something quite a bit bigger. The third competition of the FMB World Tour, the Ranch Style Pro Slope Style event, has attracted some big names for a silver level tour stop. This year I'm just gonna kinda hit the ones I really wanted to do and uh, you know, the dude that owns the property, he's like totally into mountain biking, so I was like, I might as well go support like a rider that's all about building and mountain biking. Yeah, Paul's here, he actually called me up three days ago, like, Oh hey, you going to ranch style? I'm like, yeah, I got my hotel on flight. He's like, oh, I think I might go to that. I'm glad he's here so we get to hang out and uh, ride together. Whenever we ride together, it's always pretty fun. So. The course, I mean, it's in between like a dirt jump slash slope style. I mean, a lot of those features are up there are actually hand built. A lot of man hours with uh, a lot of blisters on their hands. They're definitely uh, putting their time in to make everything the best for us. This year, Prochaska had the chance to compete in the Red Bull Cold Rush, a progressive backcountry skiing contest, which was a unique opportunity for the pro mountain bike athlete. In the winter, I just ski just for fun and shout with my buddies. A couple of them are pro skiers, so I just decided to come out here with Sean and, you know, test my luck. I think everything he did in this contest was jaw-dropping, absolutely jaw-dropping. Yeah, I mean, fell back up on a bike, you know, and, can't be much harder on skis, it's the way I, I was looking at it. Perfecting the move at home in the Whistler foam pit. In 2007, Prochaska became the youngest rider to land a double backflip in competition on a mountain bike. At the 2011 cold rush, he took it to the slopes. I'm gonna see a sight, and he said, you know what? I got nothing to lose. I'm going there for fun. That's exactly what he did. And you go twice as big on your skis, but they're powder. Yeah, in the summer, I'm a professional mountain biker. It's kind of the same deal, steeps and everything, you know, scoping stuff out. You gotta scope your line, you know, you gotta scope something different than somebody else. You know, and you gotta use your fuel fluidity, and you gotta go big and tricks, and it's all the same stuff. there and give it my all and it doesn't really matter what the outcome is but Rampage is a bit different. At the Red Bull Rampage, Prochaska competed in the Big Mountain Freeride event for the first time last year. Rampage is a bit more intense plus you know that's my sport too you know I got something to lose you know, out there to prove something. Qualifying
falling second overall, he crashed at the end of his final run and ended up in 11th place. A result he knows is just the beginning. Will we ever see Sean Pettit compete at Rampage? Yeah, I'll invite him out there, see how he does. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him bike before. <laughs> Guys nuts. Ranch Style is a three-day festival that started from the ground up. With amateur and pro events, it's perfect for anyone. You know, this thing started out as a backyard jump jam barbecue four years ago. That's me running the grill, uh, you know, everything from top to bottom. And it's just progressed year after year to what it is today. We just still keep the same feeling, though. It's really a rider event for the riders. Um, it's all about just getting together, having a great time, and doing what we all love to do. To be honest with you, I didn't come here because of the f and <laughs> It's really laid back and it's definitely, this contest is definitely for the riders rather than anybody else. Cool vibe, like, super chill, like, we get to choose when we want to ride, you know, like, if, it, if it's windy, like, we have the first option to, like, say, okay, we don't want to ride, and dude's like, you can ride tomorrow, you can ride this evening, it's like, it's no problem. The mountain bike community in Grand Junction is a large and passionate one. We started Grassroots Cycles three years ago, and that was the first year we had a uh, ranch style, about two months after we opened. And, you know, just a bunch of people uh, pulling together, doing what we love to do, which is ride bikes. And, you know, it's, uh, it's not about all the, you know, necessarily the hype. It's about, about digging the dirt and, and riding. You know, it's a labor of love. We just, we love to, uh, we love to dig, we love to ride, and, and that's what it's all about, is just getting people together to, to do our thing. Under the wheelchair. Oh, the paddle after a day of feeling out the course, the riders start their qualifying runs for the slopestyle event. 21-year-old Tyler McCall won Best Trick Year in 2009. He started this FMB season with a second place in the Best Trick Contest in Vienna. I came out two years ago and it was pretty rad, but this year it's like, I had a big turnout and it was part of FMB. There's a lot of really good riders here and it was cool. Like they built the course a lot better and bigger and uh, it was like lots of options and stuff, so it was a good time. The level was pretty high, like a lot of people came that I didn't think were gonna come. Um, I think it's because it's part of FMB, so people are trying to get them points. The race for the FMB overall title is tighter than ever, and riders are trying to compete in as many events as possible. Qualification just ended and uh, now we're just figuring out who uh, made the finals. Top 12 is going to advance. Hopefully, uh, see myself on the podium soon. With the judges deliberating and the finals about to start, we head back to Whistler. To join Prochaska as he rides some trails just outside the Whistler Mountain Bike Park. I think I'm a better mountain biker because of skiing because I don't mountain bike all year and I don't get burnt out. With so many options in close vicinity, Whistler is the perfect breeding ground for top level athletes. The only crossover of biking and ski and icy is just, uh, you know, have fun in the way, you know, it just keeps me stoked and you know, through the winter time, you know, and come back to springtime and going big on your bike, you know, right as you're getting over skiing. Just kind of, you know, you're keeping your fire going the whole time. Prochaska plans on attending both Rampage and Cold Rush next year, hoping for continued success in both sports. The top 12 riders of the day have been selected, and it's time for them to show what they've got. Fans were treated to some fancy bike work all weekend, but the finals were beyond anything ever seen at Ranch Style before. Paul Basigodia pulled some big tricks, but unfortunately did not impress the judges. My first run was pretty dialed, and then uh, ended up getting a flat tire after the last drop. One of the reasons why I came out this week as well, just uh, get some time on the bike. But it's definitely worth it.
The big name pros started the fire early, but young gun Anthony Messer was the fuel that blew up the contest. Little Anthony, that kid's awesome. He's 15, I don't even know how he can walk. I see him three and drops, I don't even know how he knows how to do that yet. The 15-year-old rookie from British Columbia took the lead as the comp was winding down. So many new tricks were thrown and like, kind of making me a little worried for there for, for a second. Greg Watts dropped in and spoiled Messer's happy ending, hucking huge backflips on and off anything in his way, toppling Messer and taking first place at the 2011 Ranch Style. I think it's a pretty solid event. Um, run pretty well. Uh, I think it'll just keep getting better year after year, so we'll see, we'll see what happens next year. With the third stop on the tour complete, Greg Watts has climbed into second place. Sam Pilgrim has an 80-point lead to take first place, while Paul Basagodia will need to step up his game in the coming events to crack the top standings. In the next episode of Mountain Bike Chronicles, we take a close look at the safety that goes into the sport. And we head to Winterberg, Germany to follow Martin Soderstrom at the SKS Dirtmaster Slopestyle. All this and more coming up in Mountain Bike Chronicles.